Welcome back to Pagalos. In this episode, I'm going to be covering how to revert slash rollback changes on your firewall as well as how to check configuration logs. I'll be building off my previous videos in this series. So with that, let's get started. Have you ever been in a situation where shit really hit the fan? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Well, have no fear. That's what we're here to cover today. Palo Alto has built-in rollback features that you can take full advantage of if you ever find yourself in this situation. For today's example, I'm going to be opening up one of my security policies and deleting one of these zones. What this is going to do is reenact a accidental change made by an admin in a production environment, and then we're going to be moving forward with how to revert that change. So let's do that. So I'm going to open up this policy. We're going to go to the source tab and we're going to delete one of these zones. In this case, I'm going to delete my WLAN zone. Click OK. And keep in mind, I have not committed these changes yet. The first option I'm going to be covering is how to revert your changes quickly in the GUI interface. On the top right of your screen, you'll see a folder icon. And if you click on that, you'll see revert changes. This is the by far quickest way to revert any possible changes you made on your device. This can also apply to Panorama, for instance. However, in PanOS versions 9 and 8, this, this feature itself used to be very buggy, so keep that in mind. If you're on PanOS versions 10 and above, you usually won't have any issues. So if I hit this option, revert changes, you're going to notice my WLAN zone will be re-added. So let's do that. We're going to make sure we're selecting our changes that we're going to revert. And there it is. The next options I'm going to be covering are under the device tab, under setup and operations. You'll notice we have options to revert as well as to load. So I'm going to cover each of these. If you go with the revert to last save configuration option, if you click on that, this is going to revert to the last save configuration snapshot that's available on the device. If you revert to the running configuration, that's pretty much the same as clicking on revert changes. It's going to re revert it to the actual running configuration on the device itself as if no changes had ever been made. If you load named configuration snapshot, this is going to allow you to manually select any snapshot that's either been saved on the device itself, or you can import one to load. If you load a configuration version, think of it in the sense of having a snapshot of all previous versions that were committed on the firewall. So for instance, back on November 18th, if I wanted to loaded or if I had loaded this version, this would bring my firewall to a state as if it was still on November 18th. Configuration logs, on the other hand, are going to reflect changes that were made on your firewall, indicating the before and after of said changes, with a timestamp and an audit trail of when those changes occurred. These can be incredibly useful when troubleshooting any changes that were made, or if you're audit auditing as to why an event occurred on your network. To note, you need to have all virtual systems selected for this option to show up, just like packet captures. So if we go to our monitor tab, and you'll notice I don't have multiple virtual systems, on the left-hand side, you'll notice that there's an option under logs for configuration. So we're going to select that. The easiest way to actually filter through your logs under configuration logs is going to be using filters. And the way to do this is by building them out, either by manually building, uh, building a filter, loading a filter, or by selecting options within the logs themselves to generate a query, for instance. Let's say I wanted to build a filter. So in this case, we'll click on the add filter icon and you'll see a log filter query generator to use. In this case, I'm gonna build out a generic query for a receive time that is less than or equal to the value of November. And in this case, we're looking at the 21st. Let's go back to the 19th, for instance, and we're gonna to go to a generic timestamp. We're gonna add that. Here's our query. We're gonna apply that and then hit enter. So now that we have a filter that we'll use in the future, what we can do is next to the add filter, you can actually save this filter. So we're going to call this test dash filter and click OK. And to show you what this can be used for, if we clear out our filter, hit enter on the far right side next to add and save filter, there's an option to load your filter. So here it is. Let's click OK. And that's loading our filter, hit enter again. And now we're using it once again. One last option to use within your configuration logs is the ability to export these logs as needed for auditing purposes. To do this on the far right side again, if you click on export to CSV, what this is going to do is export a CSV file based on whatever query that you have generated up in your search bar and allow you to audit those logs within Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or what have you, whatever is using a CSV file format. 
one last option to note under your configuration logs is going to be the full path before and after changes so in this case before changes on this path there was no changes made and after the change was made what did it look like so in our case when we built our test query for our test filter that's what's actually showing right here is after the change was made this is what it looked like a very similar feature to config logs is your config audit feature under the device tab. This will allow you to compare previous running and candidate configurations against each other. This can give you a much granular look into what configurations look like before and after changes were made and is very useful for auditing purposes. So if we go to the device tab on the far left side under setup high availability and then config audit, if you click on this, you'll see the options available to you. So on the bottom left, we can see local running config, local candidate config, lines of context, and then an option to go to run these queries. So if we want to compare against previous versions, let's say a version that was previously committed on row 136 against my local candidate configuration, we'll do 10 lines of context and hit go. This is going to show us what changed between these. So in this case, there is a brand new test filter that we generated, and that's the difference. Use this feature as applicable with your, in your environment to compare and contrast any configuration changes you may need to do whatever you may have in your environment. In conclusion, I hope this video helped you learn how to revert changes on your firewall, as well as how to check configuration logs. As per usual, I've attached some useful KBS articles to reference. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below.